Greetings, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to use the IK tag without joints on normal objects. This is a joint hierarchy, and we have uh, joint one, two, and three, and uh, between these three, we have these two green bones. To apply an IK tag to this, all we have to do is go to the first joint, right click, go to rigging, and find the IK and uh, put the last of the joints in the end and add a goal. And when moving this uh, null, we can now create some nice inverse kinematics motion. In this scene, we have these three nulls that are parented to each other. And I can actually do the same thing. I can go to the first one and go to the rigging tags, IK, drag the last one in the end and add a goal. And now I can take the goal and move it around and you will see that the nulls move appropriately in that inverse kinematic motion. What I can do now is create some objects. I'm going to create two cubes, select them, and I'm going to the object in the attributes and setting the X and the Z to 20. And I could take uh, one cube and put it under null one and uh, the other cube put it under null two. And I'm going to move them around so that they comply with the positions of the nulls. Maybe I should get them, um, first of all, aligned in the right positions. So I'm just right clicking on the numbers. You can see that now we can rotate this and move it in position approximately there. I can do the same for this one. And this time I'm going to do it differently by opening the coordinates manager and resetting the transform. And now I'm going to go and rotate it again appropriately and move it down just by eyeballing it. And you can see that now I'm getting this little uh, robot arm, uh, very rudimentary. But you can see that instead of uh, the bones that were drawn automatically previously with a joint set up. Now I have these two cubes that are doing exactly what I want them to do. And these can be any object you want. But you can do something even better. In this scene here, I have a null. I have the arm object whose axis is over here and a forearm, a child, which has an axis over here. All I need to do to apply the same principle is create a null, make it a child of the last one. I'm going to change it to a uh, sphere so I can see it. And uh, after I reset the transform, I'm going to move it to the tip of this and I'm going to call it end. And now I can do exactly the same thing. Right click on the arm, go to rigging tags, add an IK tag, put the end over here, add a goal. And now I have my very nice robot arm that moves in the proper IK motion. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.